Okay, let's draw the Lewis structure and determine the Vesper geometry for the nitrate polyatomic ion with bond angles. Let's draw the Lewis structure first. Count the number of valence electrons. Nitrogen has five, oxygen has six, and there's three of them. Let's add another electron here to get that one negative charge. And that's going to be 24 valence electrons. Let's put nitrogen in the center because it has a lower electronegativity. Oxygen has a second highest behind fluorine. All right, so the less electronegative element goes in the center. And we'll put the three oxygens around it. We need a bonding pair between each of the terminal atoms and the central atoms, and that's going to use up six of our valence electrons, so we're down to 18. Next, we want to get the terminal atoms their octets. We can do that by giving each of the oxygen six more valence electrons, and that's going to use up all our valence electrons. Nitrogen still needs two more electrons. It has six right now. We can move a lone pair from one of the terminal atoms, make a multiple bond, in this case a double bond. Now nitrogen has an octet as well. So if you check out the formal charges and what we have right now, all right, so this is going. This is the only atom that has a formal charge of zero. It's going to be plus one. This is going to be negative one, and this is going to be negative one as well. But there's not much you can do here because nitrogen is in uh, the second period, so it can't have an expanded octet. In other words, if you try to move another lone pair over here, then that will give formal charges of zero and zero. That, that'll look better in terms of formal charge, but nitrogen cannot have an expanded octet. So we're, we're just kind of stuck here or stuck with this Lewis structure. Let's put brackets around this, and there's your one negative charge for that polyatomic ion. Now, let's take a look at the Vesper geometry around the central atom. So there are three electron domains, or three electron regions, one, two, and three. There are no lone pairs, okay? So they're all bonded to other atoms, is, is another way to say that. And so this is going to be trigonal, planar. It's about 120 it is, it is 120 because there's resonance here. 120 degree bond angle, right? So there is resonance. These This double bond could be there, and, and it's also there, and they're all kind of equally sharing the double bond. So it's 1.3 bonds between each of the oxygens and the nitrogen.